Hey, what's up guys, New York Niles here, and we are here with Manny Simmons' road to glory, his road to becoming a star, hopefully in the NFL. This week we have the New York Turtles at home. Hopefully we could put our first win in the books, and I will see you guys when this game starts. The home team, the Shirley Bayman, start this game on defense, and the New York Turtles on offense, and they go deep first play, and it's defensive deflected by Frank Breen. Great play by the defense on that play. It seems that they drop back again for another pass. They're not giving the ball early, and they complete to the sideline for a 22-yard reception. Manny Simmons was there, but not quite fast enough to get there. Drop back again, quick dump-off pass, and Manny Simmons does a terrible tackling attempt, runs into his own man, and then they drop back again for another pass, and a quick dump-off once again, Manny Simmons there for an almost attempt while Tyler Wesby with a six-yard reception. Drop back again. The quarterback is pretty pass-happy, and it's intercepted. The Shirley Bayman get the ball back early. And the Bayman look to score on this drive to take the lead for the home team, and they hand it off early to Manny Simmons, who hits the edge and makes a man miss. He's down the sideline. For a 25-yard rush, what a great play to start this game off. And they hand it off again to the star, Manny Simmons, who pounds it in for five yards. Pretty nice gain there. They give it to Manny Simmons once again for the third time in a row, who comes up a yard short of the first down. Pounded in to the star, Manny Simmons, who was just pounding on this defense early on. And he pounds out another five yards. This defense just does not have an answer for Manny Simmons, who does a slight little juke there and comes up another yard short on that five-yard rush. They just pound this in, a little juke back for the four yards, which could, which I believe is his shortest run of the game. He is just annihilating this defense. Another four-yard rush there. They just refuse to pass the ball. They're just giving it to Manny every single play. One yard short of the first down. They give it to Manny again, and he stopped. He stopped short with a zero-yard rush. Great play on the defense, and they seem to be going for it here. And he... Does he have it? Does he have it? And he has it on the two-yard rush. Pounds his way forward for the first yard. Bayman looked to score. They are knocking on the door here with a double juke. Give her the seven yards. Manny Simmons... Just constantly getting this ball, and it's their first pass play of the game. They do not, they pass it to the wide receiver on the right, Michael. He gets the touchdown. Now, men, now the Baymen are on defense. Let's see what they can do. Let's see what the New York Turtles can do on offense on their last possession, throwing an interception, and the defense, the home team, scored on that possession. Now... The Turtles look to score. They're knocking on the door. They're at half field. They throw it midfield with a huge gain. The coverage was just not there on that play. They are in the red zone looking to score here. And they hand it off to their running. No, the quarterback takes it up the middle. Stop short. About one yard, two yards shy of the end zone. They look to pass here. The quarterback takes it and sacked for the... Now for one yard... They look to pass again, they look for anyone open, and Manny Simmons could have made the play, did not see it, it seems there's a flag on the play, it is pass interference on Manny Simmons, that'll take the offense closer to the goal line, they look to pass again, they pass up the middle, and Manny Simmons could have made a play again, what a close game, Manny Simmons shoots the gap, and it's a fumble, the ball's on the ground, and New York Turtles recover, third and goal, what can they do on this possession? Third and long, third and goal, and they complete for the touchdown. The score is all tied up as Manny Simmons gets the ball again, stopped for a three-yard gain. He, they are just ground and pound. This offense just loves to run the ball as he stopped for his only loss of the game, two-yard loss, and he goes for a screen, and he, he drops, he falls, he trips on his lineman feet. And he is angry about that play. That's a turnover. They will punt the ball to New York Turtles as Manny blitzes and chases the quarterback down. And he's tackled for the first down. They look back to pass again. It's very pass-heavy offense. Very contrary to the Hampton Bays 
Bayman, the Shirley Bayman, and Manny Simmons on the tackle on that play. His first tackle of the game is not showing up big on offense today. His senior year in high school, even though he has shined so much his previous three years, he's looking to impress recruits this year, hoping to go to a good college. He says he believes in himself. Let's see what he can do today. He is doing fine on offense, and the New York Turtles score for the go-ahead touchdown, 14-7. The Shirley Baymen are on offense, and they have to punt it back after the three pass attempts for no yardage. So the Baymen are back on defense trying to stop this Turtles, who are on a roll lately. Third and one, let's see what they can do. Manny Simmons is blocked, and they stop the rush attempt. Fourth and two, they punt it back to the Bayman. The Turtles look to stop this rolling offense, who is unstoppable at the helm of halfback with Manny Simmons there, who they continue to just pound and pound and pound, and Manny Simmons fumbles the ball, and it's picked up for a 10-yard gain. Not a bad play, if I'd say so myself. It looks so good, they even planned it. Gain ended up gaining yards, and there's a flag on the play after that huge gain, that 10-yard gain. It's clipping a 15-yard penalty, and Manny Simmons pounds it up the middle anyway to make up for the yardage. Second and nine, they get the first down off a pass play. Manny Simmons gets the ball, rushing to the right, makes four yards, and they hand it to Manny again, and he stopped for a yard loss. That is not a good way to go, almost in the red zone, and Manny Simmons pounds it up the middle for the first down. Motion on the play, and Manny Simmons gets the ball again. I'm almost sick of saying this guy's name. He's getting the ball too much. This offense does not know how to pass. They obviously don't have very much confidence, and Manny Simmons gets the touchdown. His first rushing touchdown of the game on the right side. They stole his touchdown early on, pounding it with him, and then eventually got the receiving touchdown early. So now it's a tied up game. This game is all tied up. And Manny Simmons, his man, gets the play and he breaks two tackles and he's running down the field and he's caught by the safety. Huge play on that game. That was completely Manny Simmons' fault. But a huge penalty clipping the offense is brought back. Huge play. Huge penalty. That was just unfortunate. And they rush, and Manny Simmons goes for the tackle, and it's stolen by number two, who gets the tackle on that play. Manny Simmons is blindsided, and still gets the tackle on that play. What a great play by the absolute star on this team who's shining on offense, yet to show up on defense, but we will see what he can do. Turtles looking to drive and score on this possession. They drop back to pass. It's completed on a slant down the middle of the field. Whole bunch of purple on that tackle. Seems they're doing an option play, and Manny Simmons gets confused and goes for the wrong guy. Who knows what he was thinking. His play wreck is not where it should be. He should have got the tackle on that play, and there's a whole bunch of purple on that tackle. Love the group tackling effort. New York Turtles don't seem to be doing this, and a BAM! Big hit on the quarterback on that play. They stall out on a pass play, and the Hampton Bays, Shirley Bayman, have the ball on this possession and Manny Simmons is rocked on that play surprised he didn't fumble there and he gets the ball again he gets the big run he's running down the sideline and he juke to the outside for no purpose whatsoever and he is caught they give it to him again on the outside seems that he makes a 10 yard 11 yard play and he's pushed out of bounds on that play he tries to pound it in here and he's running sideline he's running backwards why is he running back what is he doing and he breaks a tackle and he takes it in for the touchdown Great play on great possession on that drive. So the the Shirley Baymen have taken the lead now. 21-17, the Turtles look to take the lead back. This is a close game, ladies and gentlemen, and a huge gang tackle on that play once again, which seems to be the forte of this defense. Solo tackle there, nice four-yard gain to the left side, nice dump-off pass, and then another pass up the middle. Huge gain downfield. No idea where the coverage was on that play. He was wide open. Another slant for a short gain, three-yard gain on that play. Seems that the New York Turtles are knocking on the door, about to score, and they run the ball to the sideline for a very, very short gain, four yards at the least. 
Now they drop back to pass again. They're going short, and they make the first down gang tackle on that play. One minute and 47 seconds left in this game. Can the New York Turtles get the victory in this game? Can they at least take the lead? We will see. They are knocking on the door, and Manny Simmons misses the tackle. The guy is right in front of him, and he makes an easy three to four yards more after that missed tackle. What a terrible, terrible excuse for a tackle on that play as they get the first down off a small, small dump-off pass, and he drops back for another pass, and they make a very short yard gain. Six yards, it's second and four. They are close to getting this, and Manny Simmons takes a blitz and blindsides the quarterback on that play. Not much of, uh, didn't get the sack, though, and now they just throw the short dump off for the touchdown, and the Shirley Bayman... It's in the hands of this offense to take the lead with 32 seconds left. And they, they run the ball with 30 seconds left in this game. And Manny Simmons gets the 10 yards and runs out of bounds to stop the clock. They should be passing now. And no, they run it again for a, up the middle nonetheless for a six-yard gain. They take a timeout. They have two of them left. They could get this win. They go to pass it. And they pass it right up the middle to the middle linebacker. That'll end this game, folks. See you all next time. Manny Simmons has a one-star performance on both sides of the field, obviously doing better at halfback, but what did you guys think? This is my first time trying a commentary such as this, so it was kind of hard. I did have little editing mishaps a lot during this game, so we'll see what I can do. I'll try to edit it a little, you know, not as harsh, because that's what kind of made me have to talk fast. I was running out of breath like I am right now, but we'll see. Hopefully I can uh, edit a little bit better the next time. I didn't know what I was expecting this time, so didn't really know how to edit it. I edited it very short because I knew it was going to be a long video. But once this gets to college, it will be much, much better because it'll only have one position. So that's cool. So that's it for this video, guys. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.